Hello and welcome to Tim's BMW Repairs and Information. Well, I've got a quick one for you today, quite easy as well. This is my electrochromatic mirror. And as they are wont to do, the layers are starting to separate. And instead of being a nice shiny reflective surface, it's gone a bit swirly. Now, it's been the notification on the last MOT saying the mirror's deteriorated, but still good enough. And I would have left it like that for, for ages. Apart from us on a forum the other night and someone asked where can you get these electrochromatic mirrors because from BMW they're 250 quid which is a lot of money and one of the reasons I didn't bother and I thought well in the old days on the E31 and the E38 and E32 we used to get them from German eBay and that was the place to get them so I thought well I'll have a look on eBay see how much they're going for help the bloke out give him the part number and so on I had a look on, e on eBay and uh, instead of being from Germany these days, they're coming from Latvia. Yeah, and it was less than a hundred quid. And I thought, well, there's a few of them on there. I think I'll get one myself and might as well do mine while I'm at it. So that was a couple of weeks ago. It didn't take long to get here from Latvia, but there we go. Nice box from Latvia. Yeah, Sergio Cavallis. Sporta Riga Latvia, there you go. Nicely packed, got here quite quickly and for less than a hundred quid. Well, you can't complain about that. So I thought I'd just do a very quick video on how you change them because you don't want to break anything. That's the mate, that's always the number one. Well, number one rule is don't kill yourself. Number two rule when working on cars, don't break something. And so I'm going to show you how to remove the glass without breaking anything. And it's not that hard. Um, also, once the mirror's off, we can compare it against the one I've got from Latvia just to make sure it's the right one. We don't want to be in a situation where we break the one on the car and then the one that I get from Latvia isn't going to fit. So, okay, I'll quickly talk you through the steps. It's pretty easy. First thing you need is the car key. And what you do is you just you just adjust the mirror so it's fully that way, so you can get something in this side. So we'll do that. You need the key in the ignition. Switch over to the right hand mirror if you're doing the right hand one and then adjust it so it's fully in this way. So the outer part of the wing mirror is fully out. And there we are, just remove your key again. Okay, I'll bring you in. Oh, by the way, how waterproof is my roof still? It's very waterproof still. There we go. Right, I'll zoom you in. Oh yeah, we're going damn close up now, look at that. And you can see the swirliness up here. It's got a sort of rainbow bit on it. It isn't a good look. Okay, so the mirror is tilted that way. And what we use is we use a couple of um, trim tools. Now, um, BMW instruction, they've got a special tool which just looks like a spatula to me. But anyway, we'll get one in here and we'll get one in here and we'll apply even pressure to it and it'll go crunch. I usually do, it's quite scary. Keep hold of it, you don't want to drop it. There we go, that's out. And there's the connection, all the way from Latvia. Don't drop it, Tim, that's bit's a good idea. Right. Okay, are they the same to start with? Yep, they are exactly the same, that's good. Yeah, absolutely exactly the same, apart from this one's a lot shinier. Right, let's have a look at that connector there. Okay, so that's it's a good job I had to look at that because I'm obviously trying to pull apart the wrong bit because that bit stays on. So comes off at the top. Always a good idea to check these things. Right, I put my wing mirror down somewhere and not going to kick it. And I'll zoom you back in. There we go, that makes more sense. So we've got clips here. Yeah, well, just one clip there, and it will come apart there. So I need to get something under there, don't I? Maybe a little screwdriver or something like that. 
Ah, it's good to learn on the job, that's what I say. I'm going to pull too hard to break something. There we go, we got there eventually. So yeah, there's a clip there. Get your fingernail underneath. So pull it a bit, get your fingernail underneath it and give it a good pull. Right, that's the old one. Let's a close look at it. Yeah, you can see it's gone sort of purple at the edges. Um, purple, yeah, purple around the edges and it's got a sort of splodge on it there. Oh, that shows it better. Yep, so I'd be glad to get rid of that. Rightio, so new one in, all looking clean enough. Yeah, that looks okay. Get a bit of whatever polish was in there out. That's better. A bit better. Okie dokes, new one in. Right, so we saw that that clips out of there. I don't think I'll bother unclipping it. Let's get that one in. That's, that's in place. Now it's really just a case of aligning all of this lot with the motor drive unit and giving it a very steady push. Okay, so let's get it all lined up. It's all click into place. Am I knocking over anything? No. Okay, and then we need to push it around the centre somewhere. That's it, it's in. As simple as that. So there we go. So yeah, there we go, as simple as that. Yeah, less than a hundred quid from Latvia. Uh, eBay that was, you're not gonna find them on Amazon, apart from some aftermarket parts. I always like to get BMW parts for stuff where you've got electrochromatic stuff going on. You're never sure if the aftermarket part's gonna work properly. So yeah, that's original BMW, just second hand from Latvia. So there we go, that's another little simple job done and one I wouldn't have thought of unless someone had asked the question on uh, one of the forums, bimmerforums.co.uk it was in this case. And really it's just a case of going to real OEM, putting your VIN in of your car, and then you'll find the correct part number for the mirror. Go to eBay, put BMW and that part number, and that will find exactly the right part. It's always best to compare them. So what I did before, oh, get the old one back, before I bought it, I took a photograph of this one with my camera and then compared the online picture to the picture I took, make sure it's absolutely exactly the same. So we don't want to go through this palaver and it not fit or not work or something. Anyway, there we go. All done, another little job done. It's been quite a busy weekend on the cars recently. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Oh, keep the comments coming. Uh, I love the comments on the soft top waterproofing. Yeah, it is absolutely waterproof now for sure. And uh, yeah, press the like button if you liked it. Keep subscribing and I'll see you next time. Bye.